Here we are at the Cadell Evans Great Ocean Road race. In beautiful Geelong, it's quite warm today. No, winds are light, which is different to previous years. The, the big difference this year is the addition of the Chambala climb, a real steep one that was in the World Championships course, uh, and which the men have done the last few years. So that, that'll be the defining moment for the women's race this year. The good thing about our team today is that we've got six fit, really motivated riders. I wouldn't say we've got one rider that, that we're all pinning our hopes on, but I think we've got um, a good strategy in mind, so it gives everyone um, a crack at it. Hello, another one. Another flag next year. Another one. I have to apologise, Jean. There wasn't room for you. <laughs> 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 yeah, they're uh, the family of our mechanic bats, and um, last year they made a banner, and uh, got really excited, and also did winter race, so it was nice. I spent Christmas with them, and uh, this year too. So uh, it's good to see them again, and they. Made out of one banner, added something with the rainbow uh, colors, and now uh, made another one, and also to dedicate it to the best mechanics of Mitch and uh, Scott. So, yeah, good to see uh, fans also here in Australia. Yeah, special to uh, pin number one today uh, on my uh, jersey. I really love the race, and yeah, last year I know that I was just know that I was support rider, and this year I feel a bit more, a bit more nervous because a little bit favorite maybe today. Maybe I'm not the best climber today, but I think still, because we have so good team, we have a good chance to win this race. Yeah, it was a very uneventful race before the climb and we would have preferred to have it harder. Um, it was just so easy without any windy conditions and we weren't going to waste energy before that because it would have been silly to try too much early on with a, the bunch that going that easy. When we crested Chalambra, um, I just couldn't quite make it over with the leaders. I was doing my best to pace myself but also not go complete. Well, I was in the red, we were just backing out of meat just all the way. And then they came back and then the girls did a really good job to bring that last solo rider back for me. And I just had to do my best in the sprint and Spratty did an awesome lead out from like more than a K to go. So yeah, I'm pretty stoked. Chloe's probably one of the best sprinters, if not the best in the world. So I didn't want her to get the jump on me, but she still did. So that was my mistake, but I was really happy with my sprint at the end of the day. And it's really good signs for my form going into the spring. Now, this time of year is pretty hard for me because I don't have confidence and my form's still building and uh, you don't get that much racing at the moment. So you don't really know how you're going to go, but I'm really happy with how my training's been going and um, happy mentally happy and that always makes a big difference so yeah today is a really good sign that i'm gonna have a good spring classics campaign and hopefully make that com games team Zini, gracie elman and chloe hosking